भगवत भक्ति में स्वामी महाराज प्रैप्स यू नो वाई चैतन्य महाप्रभु डिसेंडेंट इन दिस वर्ल्ड रूप गोस्वामी डेट दी मनोभिष्ट ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु श्री चैतन्य मनोभिष्टम स्थापित जैन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा शपदांति आफ्टर दैट अवर ऑल गुरु परंपरा के इन दी लास्ट प्रभुपाद सेंट श्री भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज and after that you are all inviting me here why what is the purpose that chaitanya mahaprabhu came or guru parampara came and in the last you invited me also and so many from various countries and all over australia you have invited and why they have oh gathered here I want to hear something from Brajbala Prabhu. Om Magyana Timaranda Shagananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militam Mena Tashmai Shri Guru Vena Maha we can only offer back um, <clears throat> what we have heard to those whom we have heard it from otherwise it's total impudence impertinence for a junior to speak in front of one's seniors but since we've been asked for our purification and our benefit we should try and at least touch upon the greatness of Uh, the question that's been asked why chaitanya mahaprabhu has come and why shri gurudev has come in very simple terms when shri sanatan goswami prabhu met chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, i think for the first time he said everyone is calling me a pandit a greatly learned personality and he said yes i'm such a great learned personality yes i don't know who i am so what kind of pundit is that that i don't even know who i am so chaitanya mahaprabhu has come to give the most elementary necessity of the jiva to the highest necessity of the jiva and this great science of krishna consciousness that our Srila Prabhupada introduced into the Western world is being developed up and developed up and this was his desire. So according to the individual, they have a relationship with Sri Gurudev and they're inviting him here. But really, we don't know who we are, but Krishna knows who we are. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knows who we are and his agent, the guru knows who we are so he wants us to find out who we are and in that knowing we can unite with the supreme lord shri krishna chaitanya shri shri radha govinda and our supreme benefit can be attained why chaitanya mahaprabhu came to this world shri gurudev has explained these things at great length endlessly from the time we first had the good fortune of meeting him uh, and that has been vividly described in shri chaitanya uh, chaitanya charitamrita and you are all familiar with that so we are transmigrating you know throughout the cycle of birth and death and this is not a joke uh, janma mrityu janma vyadi Uh, suffering birth and death so it is natural at our stage of development that we should want this to end so this is the beginning stage 
So sincerely, from this stage, we should develop up our Krishna consciousness attentively and surrender to the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's agent. So, can I pass it on to someone else who can describe deeply these things? Thank you. Then Bandhu Prabhu will speak two minutes. So, Brajya Balababhu very nicely described the uh, meaning of why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and why Srila Gurudev has come. So, um, all of us use this word, Guru, sometimes very lightly. The uh, meaning of guru means teacher. So we see all throughout the world, so many teachers are there. We accept so many gurus. We have gurus who teach us music. Our teachers at school are our gurus. Uh, even for the wife, husband is guru. So if we look at guru in this sense, then we're somewhat lacking in our understanding. Actually, we're grossly lacking in our understanding. Actually, we have no understanding of what is guru. Actually, in most of the uh, shastras, guru is not referred to as teacher, not referred to as guru. He's referred to as Sri Guru. And this word Sri has... Sorry, I can't turn around properly. But this word Sri has very deep significance in our Vaishnava uh, association. This tree is related to things that are auspicious, things that are very wonderful. This tree also relates to Lakshmi Devi. She's Sri. But even deeper than that, even more transcendental, even more uh, uh, loving, this tree means Sri Mati Radharani. So when we refer to Sri Guru Dev, we're actually referring to the deep, transcendental, wonderful, loving compassion that Sri Mati Radharani has for all conditioned souls. But even more so, the deep love that she has for Sri Krishna. So Sri Guru, he is the embodiment of Srimati Radharani's love for Krishna. So we may say, well, how is that? But actually Sri Guru, he loves so deeply all of the living entities in this vast creation, both spiritual and material, that he can't tolerate the... Jiva's separation from the service of Sri Krishna. This is actually our transcendental nature. Just like we see outside the, the rain, the water is making everything wet. Because that's its nature, it can't help it. When it rains, everything will get wet. So in the same way, the intrinsic nature of the soul is to be engaged in the service of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. We can't help it. It's our nature. No matter how hard we try in this material world, like myself, to enjoy this wonderful creation that we have here, it's not natural for us. And the real nature, the real natural transcendental propensity in all living entities is drawn out from the living entity only by Sri Guru. So Sri Guru, Sri Guru Dev is none other than Sri Mati Radharani's affection for Krishna and her love and deep compassion for all souls. So we should see Sri Guru in that way. Therefore, Sri the Guru Dev asked, Oh, why have you invited me? I wonder if anybody here is asking the same question. Actually, I, I can imagine 
why wouldn't we invite Sri Guru in our presence? Because he has come to deliver the transcendental and deep message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is to absorb ourselves in the transcendental love of Srimati Radharani and Sri Krishna. Jai Srila Gurudev. Thank you. Please respect to words. Namam Vishnu Banaya Krishna Bastaya Bhutalaya Shumati Gaur Govinda Swami Niti Namani Namam Vishnu Banaya Radhikaya Priyabhane Shri Shri Mad Bhaktivedanta Shri Lanara Marjana um, I just remember my Guru Maharaj Shiva Gurgavina Maharaj would always stress the necessity of Sadhu Sangha. More louder, please. My Guru Maharaj Shiva Narai Maharaj would always stress the necessity of Sadhu Sangha because without the necessity of Sadhu Sangha, we are completely lost in this material world. So uh, just by the gesture or the glance of Sadhu, we can make so much advancement that we are completely unaware of, but they... By their mercy and by their association, uh, we can go up. Otherwise, like I said, we're lost. So, uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, really, that was his main um, preaching in ISKCON, the importance of Sadhu Sangha. And that's why um, we've invited you, Guru Dave. Otherwise, we are, we are hopeless and we are lost. Thank you. Thank you. Ilya Prabhu will speak to all. Amagana Tamandasya Ganangana Salakaya Chaksunaman Tamina Tasma Sri Gare Namaha. So Srila Gurudev's come to Mulambar again. He'll be um he'll be speaking here every night for five days, is that right? And I want to make sure that everybody comes and you tell all your friends to come and even tell your enemies to come. Because hearing what Gurudev's speaking is going to be benefit to everyone. Why do I say this? Because bhakti, Suda bhakti, pure bhakti, is not a thing of this material world. It is not a commodity that you can go to Coles and get off the shelves. Pure bhakti comes from the transcendental world. The vehicle for pure bhakti coming to this world, pure Vaishnava, a sadhu. A sadhu brings bhakti to this world. Bhagavad Gita tells us what, what is this world. Eight elements, ether, fire, air, water, earth, five gross elements and three subtle elements, mind, intelligence, and false ego. And Bhagavad Gita also tells us that these elements are all dancing. Prakriti, Kriyamanini, Gunai, Kamanis, Vashiha, Ahankar, Vamudhatma, Kartami, Tamanyate. But we are under the illusion that we are the doers. We are looking at this dancing, these eight dancing energies and thinking that we can control them. We can manipulate this energy to make things better for ourselves. But we can't. We can't control this material energy. Lord Brahma, Brahmaji, the, um, our, um, our Adi Guru, he thought that he could change energy. What happened? Krishna bewildered him. And then he became humble. With hum folded arms, humbly he spoke to Krishna. Kavaham tamomaharaham kacharagni vabhu some vaisti tandagata saptavitastakaya, quid vigvidhavagana tanda pranachaya, vitadva roma vivrasha tate mahitvam. Lord Brahmaji, he said, What am I? Just a pot, a, like a um, seven spans of my own on my, the length of my, um, of my hand, filled with these, um, with these elements. But what is Krishna? Krishna is, he's unlimited. Unlimited universes flow through the pores of his skin every moment, just like air flows through a screen. Lord Brahmaji, he became humble and he approached Krishna in the right mood. If we approach the sadhu, because sadhu is not like us, he's not Bahir Mukh, he's not watching these dancing dead energies. He is watching the dancing of Radha and Krishna within his heart. If we approach sadhu with a non-critical mood, not criticizing and not with a hypocritical mood, not pretending that we're something that we're not, in this mood, if we approach Sadhu, then he, the reflection of his heart, can come in our heart. Bhakja Sanjatya Bhakja. Srimad Bhagavatam tells us that bhakti comes from bhakti. And even in this lifetime, even today, tomorrow, very soon, 
in the association of a sadhu, if we approach him in the right mood, we can also get bhakti. And this is why we've invited Gurudev. Pancha Kalpa Tubi's Chakis in the day. Namahati Param Pani Vaishnavi Om Namo Namaha. serve Krishna so much that Krishna can never repay that debt. So in an attempt to repay that debt, Krishna has come to this world in the form of Sri Taitanya Mahaprabhu to collect up maid servants to serve the lotus feet of Sri Madhi Radharani. Really Lord Chaitanya has come to, to find the lost servants of Radharani. So we can understand that Sri Guru is a Gora Priya Jana and Radha Priya Shaki. So Sri Guru has come for that same purpose, to find, find servants, to render service to Radha Rani. So we're so fortunate, if we can understand that if, if we're here in the presence of such a Radha Priya Shaki and a Gora Priya Jana, Krishna has decided, Guru has decided one day to make us Made servants are right around here, and we're so lucky. Thank you very much. Cameron, two words. Om Gyanam Timiran Dasya Gyanam Jana Salakaya Chaksuran Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guru Veena In two very brief histories, I'd like to share just an atom of the reason why Srila Gurudev came. There was a quarrel between Visvamitra Muni and uh, Vasista Muni. Visvamitra Muni was saying that my severe austerities are the greatest and most powerful things in the universe. And Vasista Muni was saying my Sadhu Sangha is the greatest and most powerful. They couldn't resolve their quarrel, so they approached Anantadev, who's holding all the universes on his millions of hoods. When Anantadev heard this question, he said, this is a very heavy question. But I'm already engaged in a very heavy activity. I'm already holding the universes on my head. If somehow or other one of you could relieve that burden, then I could answer this other heavy question. So Visramitra said, I'll give you all the results of my great severe austerities and penances. So Anantadev little bit took his head out of one of the universes. And all of a sudden, all the seas started churning, the mountains started falling, everything started tilting. So he put his head right back. And then Vasista Muni said, I'll give you one second of my sadhu sangha. And he pulled his head back, and the universe remained as it was. It's so powerful. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Srimati Devahuti said that even unknowingly associating with the great sadhu, just by taking prasadam with him, speaking with him, even apparently mundane talks, <coughs> one's whole life can be changed. And if one does so knowingly, then the results are indescribable. Another very brief history is the history of Jana Sharma and Gop Kumar. Gop Kumar is the associate of Srimati Radhika and Krishna, a coward boyfriend just like Subal, a great associate like Mother Yasoda, never a conditioned soul. But he met with, by the order of Radhika, he met with Jana Sharma, a conditioned soul, really not just an example of a conditioned soul, but a conditioned soul who hadn't done really any sadhana. He had gotten Gayatri Mantra from Parvati, but with no guidance, no rules and regulations, no deep meanings. So. Gop Kumar was teaching him all the tattvas, all the way up to Braj Prem tattva. And Jana Sharma was knowing the tattvas now, surrendering with faith to his guru, but no feelings, no tears. So Gop Kumar put his hand on his head and he said, now you will get all realization. So then Jana Sharma closed his eyes, opened his eyes, he found himself in Goloka Vrindavan and running to Krishna and Krishna running to him, the, both of them embracing and falling to the ground, weeping and fainting. 
So Gurudev said, Sri Sanatana Goswami gave this verse, Mahat Sangha Mahatmiyam Etaivat Paramat Bhutam. The effects of Sadhu Sangha are super astounding and miraculous. Now Gurudev gave this lecture in Badri where there's a river. He said, if you have any doubts in the great power of Sadhu Sangha, then take all your doubts and throw them all in the river. Don't have any doubts, don't be hopeless, take that shelter and all miraculous effects are achieved and that's why Sri <coughs> Gurudev came. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to come here and so my daughters, sons and all, my God brothers also. When I came to Malaysia, only for one day I spoke there. But so many devotees came and inspired. I thought that this is big gathering. But when I here I came, I saw oh, more big gathering than Malaysia also. <laughs> and so many devotees. I think this lecture hall is of who did? From town, you have collected for classes. Hmm. I thought that he has boiled. Next week. Next. Next week he'll boil. So. Each and every person should have a goal of life. Without goal and goal and aim of life, we are all like animals, not animals only, foolish, like donkeys. Yeah. I'm not telling, but Shastra is telling like Dharma Nehina Pasubhi Samana. Like donkeys, self killer, even. So, what is the aim and object? I told in Malaysia, just a deve parabhakti. What is the meaning of parabhakti? To its endless sima. What? Hmm? Prema bhakti. Go on more. Hmm? Dasha bhakti. Oh, Rara Mahaprabhu told, oh, go on. Is it okay? Then Sakya, oh, Yoho Uttam, Age Kohar. And then Barsal, oh, very good, very, very good. But I want to hear something more. Oh, Gopi Prem. Oh, very good. But something more? Can you tell? <laughs> then he told what? Oh, Radha Prem. Ah, yes. Something more? Oh, in this world, there are no who can ask more than this. But there is something. Sambandhaganuga bhakti and Kamatmika bhakti. Nanda Baba, Jasoda Maya, and all are Sambandhanuga. Sambandhatmika. Sambandhatmika. Sambandhatmika, not Sambandha. Sambandhatmika. But gopis are Kamatmika. Kamatmika bhakti is also of two kinds. No? Kamatmika, Sambhogatmika, and Tattat Bhavichita. That is Ulla Sarati. Oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came only to give this. Not to Udnat Ujjwala Rasa. It is in Madanakya Bhav in Radhika Mali. So he wanted to test it himself. 
Because in Krishna past time he could not realize all these things, not tested. And one thing he could not give the process of this kamatmika and tat tat bhave chhatat atmika. He could not give the process. So, Rup Goswami told, Anarpiti charing chirat karunaya vatir nahakalau. Samarpaitum unnoto jalarsang bhakti sriyam. What is the meaning? Samarpayutum karunaya. Out of mercy. He wanted to give. What? Unnoto ujjala rasang bhakti sriyam. Not uttal ujjal ras. It is in Srimati Radhika only. He wanted to test it. But samarpaitum karunaya unnat ujjwala rasang bhakti. The beauty of unnat ujjwala, not unnat ujjwala. There is difference between unnat ujjwala ras and the beauty. Like a creeper, without leaves, manjaris, or flowers, no beauty. So Radhika may be the creeper, but beauty where? Leaves, flowers, and especially in Manjari. Lalta and Vishakha are more superior than Rup Manjari and others. But in some case, Lalta will have to go and take permission. May I come? May I come in, sir? She will have to be order. Directly they cannot go to Radha and Krishna. But Rup Manjari, Rati Manjari, always serving if they are naked even. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came mercifully to give this Manjari mood, Ulla Sarati. This should be the aim and object, highest, of any jeev in this world. But rare. But rare. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself came with his associates, like Rup Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, like others. What? To give this Raganuga Marga. Raganuga Marga. What is the pair of Chaitanya? Um, Rag Marga Bhakti Karite Pracharam. In fourth, first Adi Lila, fourth chapter. He has not come only to give a Harinam, to preach Harinam, not only this. Oh, that can be done by Advaita Charya and others. But special this thing, Raganuga Marga, and that highest thing, th thing I told, the mood of Rupa Goswami, anyone cannot give without Krishna. And the associates of Radhika. So our Guru Parampara Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself Krishna in the form of Radha Bhava Dut Shabalitam. Oh, he came only to give this. Very rare thing. Not only by the bhakti, but the bhakti has been preached by so many acharyas. So many. Ramanuj, Madhvacharya, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadita Acharya. Even Marjada bhakti has been preached by Ram and given. The Singh Dev gave something. Hmm? Raudra Ras he gave. And so many, yet yeah. hmm. even Bias, being a Narayan Tattva, he never knew this. By the mercy, a special mercy of Narad Goswami, he knew these things. And he advised him to oh, give these sweet pastimes of Krishna. You have 
टोल्ड अबाउट धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष इन अदर पुराण यू हैव टोल्ड अबाउट कृष्ण बट कृष्ण इज कवर्ड विथ धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष नाउ यू शुड डो यू हैव नॉट टोल्ड दैट कृष्ण वॉज बाइंडेड बाई हिज मदर जसोदा इवन नाउ नॉन है You have not written that Krishna holding his hands, keeping his peacock feather. feather and float on the lotus feet of Radhika. No, pare, ham nirvadha sanju. I cannot repay you, even in the eye uh, of demigods. Never. So these are things. You are very fortunate to hear all these things. How to? Have these things, or oh, begin from beginning, shramanam, kirtanam, bhakti bhakti. Especially, adau sadha, tata sadhu sangha, anartha nibhti, nistha, ruchi, asakti, then suddha sattva. Hmm? Suddha sattva in this world very rare. Very rare. Suddha sattva, vishesh atma. प्रेम सुजान सुम्य भाग रुचि भी चित्तम आश्रिण्य कृतौषौ भाव उत्तर फर्स्ट आभास ऑफ प्रेम इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड आफ्टर नथिंग टू प्रैक्टिस इन दिस वर्ल्ड ओनली भाव भक्ति फॉर दिस थिंग्स स्वामी जी केम भक्त वेदांत स्वामी महाराज बट व्हाट हाई पैंड ही सॉ दैट देर आर सो मेनी जंगल्स Hmm? No fertile land. He began to cut the jungles of Maya, Vat, Sakhi, Veki, and all other things. Varna, Sam, Dharm, Sam, many things. He wanted to establish first Daiva Varna Sam. Hmm? Be situated in by Daiva Varna Sam, and then practice all these. But you should know always. Sadhu Sang, Sadhu Sang, Sadhu Sang. सर्वशास्त्र विदाउट साधु संग यू कैनट एडवांस आई सी गेव टू थ्री एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल्स सो वी हैव कम फॉर दीज थिंग्स एंड यू आर इन्वाइटेड फॉर दीज थिंग्स ऑलवेज कीप इन योर माइंड श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्टम स्थापित जैन भूतले चैतन्य महाप्रभु न्यू दी मोड ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु ही न्यू दी हार्ट ऑफ चैतन्य एंड ही एस्टैब्लिश वी शुड ऑल टॉप टू बटम एवरी वन शुड ट्राई टू नो योर गुरुदेव हार्ट एंड ट्राई टू एस्टैब्लिश इट डोंट क्वारल इट मे बी सो मेनी थिंग्स प्रॉब्लम बट ट्राई टू forget all kinds of troubles what your guru dev ta wants what your guru parampara wants what krishna and mahaprabhu and his associates wants i told so many times that you should have a preaching center why to give proper respect to seniors if you are quarreling and not giving proper respects to seniors you cannot advance an inch even so to train them prop to give proper respect this is necessary a preaching center also where we should forget all our quarrels and be in one opinion that how we can fulfill the desire of our guru guru parampara and how we can achieve this rare oh what i told you adau sadda and in the last suddha sattva vishesh atma and in the last prem and then you will come स्नेह मान प्रणय राग अनुराग भाव महाभाव एंड सो मेनी थिंग डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम ए मोमेंट इवेन नेवर 
So I have come to remind you all these things. But seniors also give proper honor to junior also and love and affection and help them. It has been told, Ishware Prem, Prema, Kripa Upeksha. This we should follow. Prem to Krishna only, Radha Krishna, Mahaprabhu. And four kinds of, or three kinds of exchanges. exchanges between Vaishnava Vaishnava. Senior Vaishnava should be honored at given respect. Equal, Dandat Pranam and all, all these Friendship. things. And juniors, oh, Sadhu Sangha, you will have to give. And those who have no respect for Krishna or anything, Upeksha. But those who are not in line, but innocent. Eh? Innocent. innocent, we should try to help them, as we are doing. Then our mission will be success. Gaur Premanande. Oh, one thing, one request that you all, Brajballa Prabhu, always try to. I give respect to Brajballa Prabhu myself. He is very much qualified. So always try to give him respect, like Siksha Guru. You shouldn't. You can learn so many things. Don't see any loophole to anyone, anyone. Otherwise, loophole will come. And thus, in one opinion, you should make a preaching center very soon. By the grace of Lord, you have collected one place and very good situation, very soon you should meet there, keeping up all quarrels and difference of opinion. So very soon, I, in coming year, I may stay there in the good lecture hall, and I will see that all Sannyasi, Brahmachari, lady devotees are all very high class of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.